Keely and you're tuned in to Beauty by Keely. Hey, how are y'all? You doing all okay? good? Okay, doing good. Okay, so by the title of this video, you see that we are going to be learning how to do lash la do lash swatches for your brand. If you have a lash brand, if you have a cosmetic brand and you sell lashes or whatever, then this video is for you. Okay, because we're going to learn how to save some coins and you're going to learn how to do your own lash swatches yourself. You can pay if you want to, but hey, why not? The more you do it, the easier it gets. So I'm going to show you how I do lash swatches for my brand. But before we get into the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, like, and subscribe to my channel and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss any more uploads from me so today i'm going to be showing you some new 25 millimeter um 100 mink lashes that i got for my brand and i have not made a video on this yet but if you guys like my necklace then i have started a second business yes i have started an accessory business because i'm kind of on the rocks of what i want to do with my cosmetic business um I'm doing some soul searching on it or whatever. So I have started an accessories brand, which is basically like really bright statement jewelry, butterfly necklaces, different necklaces like this, um, different accessories, definitely big bold earrings like these, hunty. So if you want to check that out, then I will link it in the description down below. Follow my Instagram at Keely's Accessories. I will put it here. Um, you can still follow me on my makeup page at Beauty by Keely. Um, I'm still doing makeup, everything like that. But let's get into these lash watches. So I'm going to show you the new lash styles that I have. And I look like a naked mole rat right now because I'm going to let you know what you have to do for your lash watches to come out really good. So I have no lashes on right now. I don't, didn't even put on mascara because I'm going to be taking you through the steps and everything like that. So I have five new pairs of mink lashes. And I'm going to show them to you guys and I will show you how we do uh, lash watches of them, take pictures, everything like that. So this is one of the first styles. Now I have tried these on, but you know, whatever. This is the style Carolyn. Oops. And I named that after my mom. Named Carolyn. Love you, mom. Um, my second style is called Self Made. And they're really wispy. These are like the fluffiest lashes ever. So I thought these would be great to add to my accessory line. Um because, like, these lashes make a statement, okay? They are so fluffy. Like, can you see that? This is the style Pretty Girl. Like, and I can't wait till you guys see them on. They are, like, so bomb. This one is Bougie Babe. Really, 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 really fluffy, wispy. And then my last style is called Bombshell. These may be my absolute favorite ones out of all of them. Maybe only because they are fluffy. Like, look at that. Can you see that? Like, that's a bomb. So, the first step to doing lash swatches is you want to have a great canvas. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to put on makeup, okay? That just means you want your eyebrows because you are going to be in this region mostly. I did all of my makeup. But you want to make sure that this region up here looks very, very good. So, I did my eyebrows. You want to have them clean. Even if you don't know how to really fill in your eyebrows, then just get them waxed. If you don't like getting them waxed, then just arch them. You know, make them look really, really nice. Um, Your canvas around it. I do have concealer and stuff over my eyes, but everything else is pretty much blank. I didn't put on any eyeshadow because for it to be a lash swatch, I don't want anything to take away from the lashes, okay? So I haven't even put on a black eyeliner, which helps in hiding the band. But again, you want your customers, your clients, whatever, to see your lash fully and to see what it fully looks like on the eye, okay? 
so definitely start with blank nice canvas you know whatever okay i just did the rest of my face so i could be extra <laughs> period anyway so the second step is you want to make sure you find you a nice mascara because if you do do a um do lash wash it like this and you do have your makeup on if you put your lashes on if you could tell like the makeup has got in my real lashes a little bit let me zoom you in so now the lashes like look the color of my face and my foundation so the mascara is to help hide that so the one i'm going to be using today is from addie eden's color factory cosmetics look her up on facebook i like this brand i really like this mascara or i have another one from luminous you know what? i may actually try this one today i use this one all the time this is my favorite but i may try luminous today that way your um lashes can blend in with your strips and it won't look like your lashes are there and then your real lashes are under it okay look at that Ooh lashes on fleek this is actually my first time trying this mascara and i guess i pretty much like it so far so the lash adhesive that i'm going to be using today usually i use um the kiss strip lash adhesive but i have found a new lash adhesive but that is by kiss as well but is the it is the lash glue liner by kiss and this is the clear one they do have a black one like this to make it look like a black eyeliner but this is a glue adhesive so as soon as you put it on you pop your lash on and your lash sticks okay so we're going to use the transparent one today and i'm going to grab one of my lashes this one is going to be in bombshell and i'm going to take it off now with lash swatches you can either do one or you could do both depending on how you want your aesthetic to look on your web page if you want to definitely show the difference of lashes you can leave one side of your eye like this and have your lash on the other side so it shows what difference that it makes you could put it on either both eyes so you could see what the lashes look like if you were actually wearing a pair or you could just do one eye and have a zoom in shot and that's just it but i think for this i want to do one eye with the lash on and one eye with the lash off so you can definitely see the difference that the lashes make so let's go ahead and put on this adhesive and you put it on just like an eyeliner and this comes out white and dries clear but i put it on just like eyeliner and then i'm going to pop this lash on and try to get it as close as I can to my eyelash. And I'm trying to press it together. So I'm camouflaging that strip and my lashes the best that I can. So see, now you can definitely tell that this lash has definitely made a difference. And this is what it would look like if you had on the lash as opposed to if I didn't. And so I'm trying to bring it down just a little bit so that you won't see that area of separation. So see that is what it would look like if you were wearing bombshell which is, yes this is the style bombshell as opposed to if you didn't. So now that i have this lash on like this i have my phone right here and i'm going to try to do the best that i can to take a picture of just my eyes only because i mean that's what you're advertising you want to show what you're advertising right so i have my phone here and either you can zoom in i have a couple of mirrors over here if you can see that i have mirrors over this way so that you can see what you're taking a picture of because mainly your back camera is probably your best camera so i'm going to take a couple of photos and you can crop them so 
I'm thinking that I like this one, which is kind of me looking down. And you see the lash right there. And you can take it and crop it. So that way you crop all that extra stuff out. And you're basically just showing the difference in the lashes. Like, you won't have all that extra stuff in the background. Technically, it would kind of end up like that. I don't know if you can see it, but try to insert a couple of pictures so you can see what they would look like. Um, I'll probably do it unedited just so you can see. If you want to edit, then that's fine. But let's continue. So now that I am done with this lash, I'm going to carefully remove it like that and you are back to square one so that is basically what you're going to do for all of your lashes so i'm going to pick up the next style which is bougie babe and sometimes you'll have some leftover glue or you have to go back and put a little bit more on there So I'm going to go back and put a little bit more on there before I apply my next lash style to make sure that it comes out very well. And so this is what Bougie Babe would look like. Again, you want to make sure that you have it on nicely so that you will have some nice lash swatches. And this lash adhesive can get a little tricky like it gets really sticky. Just for kicks and giggles, I am going to do the next style, self-made. I pulled it off, but I'm going to brush the kiss adhesive on. Just in case this is how you guys do your lashes if you want to see them done this way to give you a couple of options whichever is easiest for you so i'm gonna brush that on i'm gonna let it get tacky and dry and then i'll apply the lash so that is what self-made looks like so again, I'm going to take my phone, look at it, and snap a couple pictures. You want to make sure you snap enough so you have some options to look at okay so that is what self-made looks like so i'm going to remove her and if you have a lot of styles of lashes this can get tedious but you know hey so now i have pretty girl i'm going to do the same with her and i'm going to put some adhesive on the actual lash strip and then i'm going to apply her and just repeat the process It's easiest if you apply your middle first and then work on your corners. Uh, if that helps anybody on how to apply lashes. And you definitely want to do these in an option that it is easy to remember what pictures you are taking because when you take these pictures then i'm going to edit the names on them so uh i can better keep up with which are which but definitely take these in an order um to where you know which last is which so when you go back to label them it'll be a lot more easier and you don't forget is carolyn which is one of my best styles my biggest and fluffiest style and it's just full of love just like it's full of minks and full of fluffiness oh, so this is just my best style i love this style they these lashes are so full and fluffy like look at that like what this one i probably need to bring down a little bit but oh my god can you see these like i love these right here but i'm going to remove this one just so you can see the difference 
and I did this one the same way as far as just putting it on and taking a picture of it so I'm gonna go ahead and take that one off so I don't look any more crazier and that is basically it you guys that is how I do lash swatches for my brand and of course um, like I said, I will include the photos once I'm done cropping them and maybe putting a little bit of edit to them. But for the most part, that is it. So if you guys like this video, if it helps you out, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on your bell notifications and drop me a comment if you like this video. We are on the road to 300. That is not a lot to some people, but it means the world to me. And thank you for um, the ones that are already subscribed to me and that follow me. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.